Hello and welcome my friend and next I am planning to show you step by step and tools that how to replace Lexus LS 460 cars engine oil filter put this in here oil filter and also new engine oil okay and let's go to through all of these parts and steps and do this service within every 10,000 kilometers or annually or then within every 7,000 miles and after that your Lexus will last about 300,000 miles and it is in kilometers about 500,000 kilometers. Okay, first step is that when we have this Lexus V8 engine, we need the best quality engine oil. And I can only recommend this Mobile One, because Mobile One is Formula One oil supplier. And the best oil for Lexus V8 is Giro W220. It is the most best. But now I have almost similar 5W30 and this is almost 95% similar and we need that now uh, this 7 to 8 liters and it is like 2 gallons firstly this oil we have to purchase mobile one is the choice and recommendation and then we need also good quality oil filter and of course Toyota's original is best but now I don't have Toyota's original oil filter. We can get Toyota's original oil filter from the, from the nearest Toyota dealership center service desk. But then I have a nice quality made in Germany, MAN filter, and this code is this HU7009Z. And this is good quality filter from Germany. It looks like that paper filter and this package includes also this oil drying out bolt this is suitable to install in here because this is full of oil when we take filter away this oil sprays to our hand and then new gasket to this oil filter cover and this gasket belongs to that oil allow bolt in here where we can really install this oil drying bolt in this oil filter area okay and then we need tools the most imp important tool is that we have to purchase this oil filter tool what is this Toyota standard and there is many sides of this oil filter tools and this my sides what we need in this Lexus is that when we have measurement tool you can purchase this tool from Amazon.com, Mitoyo and when I install this in sides in here this side is that area to that area this corners it is in here this is this measurement it is 60 4.3 millimeter is the size when we measure to this side to that side and then this corners when we install this in corners area in here this sharp corners in here then this distance is 67 and this is mandatory and just we measure I believe that this size is 64 millimeter this this oil filter I believe that it was 64 and this fits also to Toyota's diesel engines okay and this is first important thing what we need to purchase and this is really this Lexus oil filter and there is old oil filter and this part belongs in their inner area in this way and that way 
and when there is this cover and this part belongs when we are below of car soon it goes nicely in here and then we need to only rotate in this anti-clockwise in that way and then this filter opens but remember that there is almost one deci like 0.2 quarters oil in inside and when we take that all away there sprays huge amount of oil to our hands and that's I recommend that we can open with small spanner tool this bolt in here and we can install after that there are threads this small small thing in there and we like trying out this oil filter I really recommend but we can really open this in that way but we need only big canister because this oil sprays away because there is so much oil in inside in here okay and this is this tool that fits in here and next we need socket in here this socket size is 20 27 millimeters Yes, 27 millimeter, and this part fits in here, in that way, and then we need long this bar, because this filter is tight. But let's look at how, how this opening when we go to this car, and here are really those oil, new oil filter instructions. This gasket belongs in here, it is mandatory. And that gasket belongs in then this, this up array if we open that. Okay, good. And then we need also 14 millimeter socket when we try out engine oil and spanner also. But firstly, we have to go to take this oil filter away and let's go to do that job. And first information hint is that we need big oil waste canister because this oil sprays away in this oil filter area. This is big. I believe that something like 20 gallons big canister. And there is oil because I already opened this oil filter just before. And now we are looking in this Lexus engines below area and this is front area front wheels and when we look in here we can see that in that area just in near of this steering ste left steering rack that there is one 10 millimeter bolt and it is oil filter area and then when we look in there a little bit bad, back here we have this oil sump and this is this 14 millimeter oil dry bolt. Okay, but let's go to open firstly this bolt in here. And we need now 10 millimeter socket that we can open this this bolt. This is easy job. 10 millimeter and opening direction anti-clockwise. And there is this screw or actually bolt 10 millimeter and then we paint this cover so far away that we can see in their inner and let's look inner and now we can see this oil filter and there is this our oil filter area and we can look that closer okay and in that area we need to install this our tool in here and I go to take my tool that I can install that in here. Okay, and there is this my oil filter tool, and this goes nicely in here in that way. It is like in deep, and then I take this my socket and long bar. Remember that this is tight. Now, 27 millimeters, and opening direction is anti-clockwise in that way. Now it moves, and there is in that way it moves excellent and after that when it is loosened I can rotate this cover and remember 
that soon there is coming oil about one to do this. But now I already I take this oil away because otherwise me and my camera will be full of engine oil. And now there is this old filter and if this is stuck we can little bit bend screwdriver. But now old oil filter is free and we can go to replace new filter. Okay, and now I take this old firstly this filter away for, from this tool and when I pull out this opens easily and this is old filter and now we have to check that there is no any metallic parts in here very well made device and here is really my new filter and in that step it is good to check that they are similar yes they are similar and now I remove that old one away and now when I install this new filter back I only installed it in here and I press that totally deep in that now and we can feel this spring and it is like safety oil valve spring everything is fine and then I need to take this my my old gasket away and that that job I need some sharp tool okay and any sharp tool or small screwdriver is easy because now I have to install this my tool in here and little bit bend that old old gasket and it is always good to replace old this rubber gasket because this stretch and then we have leak in here and now this part belongs just there is one bigger hole in this the lowest line that one look it is important to install just in in here not not in here just in this suitable area and this goes easily that way that low part and then and then we check that it is all areas are in this line and we can look even closer it should be in here and all areas are good and then we can add in here a little bit oil mobile one oil that this gasket is lubricant all areas when we install that back good okay now these parts are ready and and we go next we go to install this filter back okay and now now I install this my filter in here a little bit open that and this goes nicely in inside and then I need to rotate that there is quite much about 20 rotations and now when it takes no any movement I need to take my tool that I can I can fast fast and install torch in here okay and now I have this my tool and I install the tool in here it goes nicely and after that I need to rotate that about 20 newton meters force and now I can use this shorter spanner and when this movement stops I, I feel that that everything everything is okay okay now it, it seems that it stops excellent and now we have situation that we have to check that this there is no any oil leaks and that's that's I I let this cover open and now this my tool is in stuck and I need extra tool okay and now I need to find smaller socket extension and it fits fit in here 
that hole. And then when I make this a little bit longer and when I move that, this tool opens so nicely. Okay, and then remember to check that this lower board is also tight, at least 20 Nm. And now oil filter is ready. And next step is that we take oil, engine oil away next. And then we open this 14 mm socket in our tool. And opening direction is anti-clockwise. And remember that now there is a lot of oil and that's <coughs> installed in their big canister in the ground. Their very long canister, about three feet long canister. Okay, and notice my bolt was loosened and I can I can rotate that and let's look that how this oil is coming out and there is a lot of oil. It takes about five minutes. Okay, oil flies nicely. Okay, and then I have to wait so long that all oils are away. Okay, and now oils are almost away. I have waited a couple of minutes and, and so long when oil is dropping, I have to wait. Okay, and also we need this oil drying, oil drying bolt. We need new gasket. We can use this, uh, uh, what is like something paper base or then this original aluminium casket from Toyota dealership center. And we need to install new oil filter gasket. And also we check that here is no any metal in this top area because this is magnetic. And if we can see in here any metal then we have engine issue and we have to repair this our engine. We look that central point, it must be clean like in here, no any dirties. If we notice any metal parts, then we have engine damage. And then we go to install this bolt back, this oil drain bolt. Okay, and now when oil is almost away, I take my sharp knife and I take this old, old, oil drain gasket away and I have clean cotton cloth and I clean this area carefully. There is coming a little bit oil but it is not the issue. We can actually wait even like 20 minutes and then this drying is away. But I think that now I can install this bolt and new gasket in here, in this position. And then I rotate this bolt back. And now I need my toes French tool. And I have to tighten this my bolt at least 30 newtons force. Okay, and now I take my 14 millimeter socket and firstly I use this my standard spanner it, it goes nicely but because I like to be professional I take my torch French tool and I check that this force is at least up and actually 20 newton meters this torch French tool gives sound when there is 30 Good. Now there is 30, 30 newton meters force and I can be sure that everything is okay. And final part is that I have to clean this area carefully. 
but there is no any any oils in here in that way. Okay, and there is really this Lexus engine, and now I have all, always also I have removed this plastic cover. But idea is that there is engine oil cap hat, and it is normally tight, and we might need pliers. The opening direction is anti anti clockwise. Now this bolt opens. There is really this bolt. Now I open this bolt and carefully I install that little bit far away in here. Okay, cool. <coughs> Good. And, and then I need clean funnel. Clean cotton cloth. We clean that there is no any dirties. And I install this funnel in here. Okay, looks good. And after that, if I calculate it right, I need to add in here 8.5 liter this oil, almost 9 liters. But let's look when I firstly install these oils, like two and a half gallons, nine liters almost. But we have to check this oil dipstick that how much there is oil. Now I install in here firstly this eight, lit eight liters for this like 2.2 gallons, and then we check that how much there is oil in my engine. Okay, and now I add in there eight liters mobile one. And now we do so that I close this oil cap hat, oil, this engine oil cap hat, tight. And then I need to check my oil dip stick situation. And in here we can find this oil dip stick. And now I take a little bit clean cotton cloth area what is totally white and I take this my oil dipstick away and firstly I clean that totally area all areas I clean this dipstick and then I install that back carefully and I press that totally end in this way and this must to be in totally end that we hear this click sound. And after that I take that careful, carefully away and now we look at what is this oil amount and I keep that in this position and then we look in here what we can see in that area. This is, and now we can see that oil is almost in here. And we look in both sides. Can we see better? Yes, oil is almost in up array. When we look in here, we can even look closer. That can we see now better? Yes, oil is very nice. It is almost in this up dot. We can we can even check that more closely. Okay, and now when we look that that oil amount in here, it is sometimes difficult to see. But in this is low dot low engine oil amount. We have to add oil, and this is like full oil. And, and now I think that this my oil level is almost in there up area and this is only like starting point for that measurement because next we start this my engine and we check after that that what is this oil level and oil must to be in always in here never in here 
and it can be even a little bit higher, but this is the full level. And more oil is better always than low oil. And now I install this dipstick back. Back in here, I cleaned that my dipstick again carefully. And I installed that dipstick in there. And next I start this my engine and we look now below of engine area that can be see any leaks next. It is important the task. Okay, and now we need to check that there is no any oil leak in this oil filter area or then in oil dry bulb area. Now we check that there is no any oil leak in this oil drying bolt area. We clean that carefully and we check that there is no no any leaks in here. That area. And looks good. No any leaks in there. Excellent. And then we go to check oil filter. We check oil filter. I clean all oils away. Old, they are old. And now I am checking that there is no any anything dropping away. Looks good. Looks good. And after that, I can close this my. Oil cap canister and do this test in outside if engine is running. My garage door is open and now I install this clock bolt 10 millimeter. Okay, now it's fine. Excellent. Now, when engine was running, all this new sorry new oil it has been went and it go to all areas in engine like oil filter, and now we have to check this oil amount again because now oil amount it might be to be lower low amount now in there, and we have to add more oil in engine. Okay, and now we check how much there is oil. Now I have clean cotton cloth and this thick dipstick must be in that direction and now we check that in what level oil is but firstly I have to clean that before of this measurement and I install that back and now and so deep that we hear this click and then carefully away. Okay, let's look how much. Now we look at And now this oil is very nicely. Just in this up dipstick. This is difficult to see because we have this new oil. But that and we have to check that couple of times because new oil is like water. And let's look. I believe that my oil level is in here. Up. Okay, good. And if I like to be really sure, I can add a little bit more oil. And I will do that next. I add in her to her half quarter more, more oil because I like to keep my oil level in a little bit higher than max level. It is like safety thing. It is like in US Army, if some US Marine use two bullet, bullet vest this in body armor, two bullet vest in together. And now I add like a little bit, bit more protective thing in my engine. I add more oil.
Okay, and now I really add in there more oil, like half quarter, half liter. And now I check this oil amount and I clean firstly this is my dipstick. And then we look at how much I have oil. Okay, and now we can see the amount how much there is and now oil level is actually just a little bit up of this it is not yet in here full level and that means that I have to even add more oil we can see that line is just in here very very near of that area Okay, and there is really situation that my oil level is just in a little bit lower than max level. I have to add in, in there even a little bit more oil. That oil line is in, in this up area. This is very up, accurate job. Okay, I add a little bit more oil. Okay. But now I think that this service is ready and thank you for watching that video.